Hello guys, Johan here, and I am finally back with another edition of Unscripted. Um, it's been a while since I last did anything, and as you can maybe see from the horrible awful lighting behind me here, it has gone quite dark here in Denmark, it's gotten quite cold here in Denmark. Um, it's a Wednesday evening after work, I'm a bit tired, worn out, so apologies for the quality of this whole thing. Anyway, I have a feeling that most of these things, the cold, the dark, the everything else won't matter in about a minute because what I have for you tonight are these old guys. This, uh, my friends, is the Naga Morich pepper. It is on the top five of hottest chili peppers in the world and it was sent to me by my wonderful friends Philip and Daniel who apparently want me to suffer on YouTube for the enjoyment of themselves and you guys. So thank you Philip, thank you Daniel. Um, a quick word about how this, how this whole setup came to happen. Um, Philip and Daniel actually, I met them about half a year ago. I got an email from Philip saying, hey guy, I." I uh, wrote your blog, I love what you did about chilies, uh, the, the whole geeky aspect of it, uh, your homemade hot sauces, everything. Um, me and my boy Danny, we've got this thing going, we're trying to actually work out our own hot sauce. And uh, Would you be interested in meeting up with us and like doing um, picking each other's springs kind of thing? And I was like, sure, uh, that sounds fun. So I hitched a ride uh, up north to where these guys lived and we met for lunch, uh, had a couple of drinks, um, had some awesome food tasted my chili sauce tasted their hot sauce um and basically um just had a good old time um drinking eating having fun and during this whole uh, wonderful experience they pitched their ideas of the future to me and basically what the idea that they pitched me was um so we got this suburbia kind of home that we're sharing with a couple of people we want to take our yard and we want to like turn most of it into a, into a homemade greenhouse or where we will grow, you know, three varieties of the hottest chili peppers in the world. And then when, once that's done, we'll like mash them up and we'll add some lime juice and we'll add some other, other natural ingredients. And we'll do like a wholly uncooked, all natural chili sauce kind of thing. And, you know, bottle it, <laughs> um, without any additional preservatives or anything like that. And we want to sell it, sell it to Danes using a uh, chilled supply chain. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys are nice and honestly, that's really cute, but there's no fucking way in hell you're going to do that. I mean, there, there's no way, first of all, that you're going to convince people that you get to turn your shared yard into a greenhouse. There's no way that you'll have Danes eating sauces this hot using these kind of peppers in the, no, it's, it's it's a good idea, but but no. And they looked at me and they're like, Ugh, you know, that's what everybody says, but, but, but we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing. You'll see. And I'm like, okay, that's cute. Um, so we had a couple more drinks, um, talked some more, tasted some more chili, and just started picking each other's brains about like, how to manage the supply chain, how do you reach the perfect color in your product, how to... Uh, I had, to, I had to make things last without artificial preservatives, you know, those, those sort of things. Uh, and at the end of the day, it just sort of went home and I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, so fast forward really quickly, about uh, six months, we get another email from these guys saying, we got something we want to sell you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we'll do that. I'll, 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 ship you some, I'll send you some money, um, you know, to do worse. And so... <laughs> This fucking shit shows up. Passion of fire hot sauce. All natural, uncooked, preservative-less um, hot sauce made in Denmark, fresh using Zim of the hottest chili peppers in the world. Um, what can I say? I'm not, I'm not usually speechless, but you guys sent me pretty good. Um, so Philip Daniel, my hat is off to you. Oh, hold on just a second. Philip, Daniel, my hat's off to you. Uh, good job, guys. But so, anyways, that's actually that's not what that's not what this episode is about. This is not a plug. This is actually me just being impressed by these guys. And I did pay for the samples here, um, so that's not it. And actually, they never asked me to even barely mention this on the show, and they didn't ask me to taste them on the show. And for all intents and purposes, this show is not about passion of fire hot sauces. This show is about these things. These are. The peppers from Philip and Daniel's garden. Um, 
these are the ones that they so kindly sent along <laughs> with their hot sauce because they obviously they saw the first show I did on YouTube, uh, my very first uh, YouTube um, appearance in which I tasted one of these little guys, the Buchilokia, a reasonably hot pepper, I thought. Uh, but they they're like, yeah, 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 that's great. We got something better for you. Um, how about you try this on for size on YouTube? And you know what? I think I will. I think I will, guys. Um, so, basically, Nagamorich um, is, like I said, on the top five of hot peppers. And I'm so sorry about the light. Um, in the world, it's a very, very close relative to the so-called famous, or the famous so-called ghost chili. Some would say infamous ghost, infamous ghost chili. Um, it's every bit as hot, supposedly it's a little tastier. Um, but how hot is it? Well, as loyal viewers of the show will know, we measure heat in chilies on a little, on a little something known as the Scoville scale, um, which is basically a number of, that indicates hotness. This thing here that most of you know, this is a bottle of Tabasco. Uh, this is actually the Tabasco family reserve, which is very, very rare and about twice as spicy as the original uh, Tabasco product. This is this measured, it measures in at 5,000 Scoville units. This here, <laughs> this clogs in at over a million Scoville units. So doing the math really quickly, this guy, this girl, whatever, cute little thing, it's about 200 times as hot as this guy. This is about 400 times as hot as a regular bottle of Tabasco. And <laughs> we're gonna eat it. Um, million Scoville units. Oh, fuck me. Mmm. It's really, really fruity. It's actually a lot sweeter than you would think. Floral. And you got a mango passion fruit sort of thing going on. You got the heat coming up now. Um, there's an interesting, there's a real interesting smoke, sort of smokiness to this. This is very atypical. Definitely not typical for the ghost chill anyway. It's like, it's got this whole woody smoky note. Um, our friends in, uh, in in Mexico, they make this beautiful product, uh, this beautiful liquor called mezcal, which is um, a little like, well, a little like, um, what do you call it? Oh, the heat is starting to mess with me, man. Um, it's a little like tequila, and that is made from cactus. But what they do is the cactus that they use, they smoke it, or they didn't smoke it, but they um, they boil it or fry it for a couple of days on hot stones before fermenting it and then turning it into liquor. So you end up with a, with a product that has like a real distinctive, real beautiful, <laughs> oh shit, um, real beautiful smoky profile, which is sort of the same that you get in this, only the heat of this is like a million times worse than the burn of, um, of your, your average uh, liquor. Um, I am, t I am talking now and I'm trying to stay focused, but this is, um, this is hot. This is really tasty. That's the, that's the funny thing about this is really tasty, but it's really stupid hot as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's starting to build. And, and the wonderful thing about these, these guys is that they, they'll just, you get the heat. You don't get it at first. It takes like 30 seconds or so to kick in. And then once once it does kick in, it's like it's just building for minutes after minutes after minutes. And it's starting to really, really. Uh, <sighs> it's sort of starting to get to me, but by now, if I'm honest, um, just, one thing I should mention is that just to be on the safe side, I didn't keep any dairy in the house. Um, dairy is the only thing that really, really actually works when it comes to quenching the heat of these fucking suckers. Um, so just be on the safe side, I emptied all of the dairy last night. Um, so I don't have anything to really help me. Uh, the only thing I have is uh, in tribute of the guys who set this up and as maybe as a bit of relief to myself would be rum. 
which is what we drank on the day of our meeting, which is what I'll drink now to see if it has any help. As you'll notice, this is on ice, because um, I figured that would probably be a good, good idea as well. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and help. Quick fun advice guys and girls. Um, super hot chilies <laughs> and alcohol on the rocks uh, not a perfect not a perfect cocktail. Uh, you'd think so. <laughs> no definitely not. Um, oh Christ. It is I'll be honest it's not as bad as I thought it would be but it's, it's not. It's not it's not super fun times in Johan Land either. I I know people were expecting me to cry. I know Philip and Daniel were expecting me to cry. You know what? Okay, look at this. Uh, see that? <sighs> Thank you. So, why would you eat these things? <laughs> Other than to be a complete idiot on YouTube. Um, First of all, the hotness factor aside, the crying and the whining aside, um, the thing about super hot chilies is that they're actually really, really tasty. You'll notice me saying that, <coughs> excuse me, a bit of in the bones are actually going on there. Um, you'll notice me saying in the beginning, it's actually really fruity. They're a mango passion fruit nose to it. It's, it's sweet as hell. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think so, but on top of or below all the heat, rather, it's 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 sweet as hell. It's good in this uncharacteristic, this really uncharacteristic smoky woody flavor that I've never, I actually had in chilies before. Um, so it's like on top of the heat, it's like a flavor exp uh, explosion out of this world, and it's an early onset kind of heat, which is what actually makes this really really amazing in hot sauces and the like, because you get like the bombardment of fr sweet fruity flavors, and then you get like. The heat that just escalates, just escalates, and it's starting to come down now. Actually, after uh, well, about good five minutes in, it's peaked and it's it's going down now. Um, make, making this whole experience actually a hell of a lot, um, a hell of a lot <laughs> more comfortable than it used to be just a couple minutes ago. Um, what's happening right now is. Um, as, as the level of pain is, is starting to subdue a little, you get more of like the, the whole adrenaline and endorphin rush that is still there. Um, funny thing about, about doing these sort of things is that my, my mind is out of itself right now. It's completely confused about what the hell is going on right now. Um, because there's the, ups, the, there's the obvious uh, thing going on with the pain receptors in my mouth being triggered by by the heat of the chilies going like whoa this is crazy what, what are you doing to me like uh i'm in pain I don't, I don't know what's going on as a response to that um my body is starting to release like has started to release like a ton of adrenaline so i'm, I'm in a major adrenaline rush right now uh to counteract the pain and then what happens with this starts uh when, when, once this whole uh pain sensation starts going down is that the endorphins are taking over because my brain is like, yay, I won shit. I'm battling this shit. I won. Like, give me happy juice. Give me happy juice. So I'm getting this happy fussy feeling. And it's like, it's, this is awesome. And it's not because I'm in a world of pain. But it's like my body is confused. And it's fucking great. Um, it's it's amazing. Um, I, get, I get go on. Um, the heat is like really, really coming down now. Um, by the way, do you know why chilies are so damn hot? Um, quick fact, guys and girls, this is actually a defense mechanism for the chilies. Uh, chilies are incendiarily hot to humans and other mammals because the plants don't want us eating their uh, their fruits. What they do want is for birds to eat them. Birds have no pain receptors in their mouths, so the birds will eat them. Nobody like this is great. This is fruity stuff. I'll eat these. No, I'll fly around and I'll poof, I'll poof chili seeds, and like the plant germinates from there and creating more plants. Um, so yeah, that's that's why it's hot, and it, 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 I, I guess the, that the pain and, and, and all its glory and its wisdom didn't think that in a couple of million years an idiot such as myself will come, will come by and um, be like, um, 
wow, this feeling is great. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, I like that. I want that. <laughs> but that's what happened. And um, I promised the guys one thing. So I'll just get a picture of this uh, for my Instagram really quick to show people that I did it. Um, uh, I guess we'll do it like this. Sorry about that, you know. I'm a food blogger. I gotta mind my social media status. That's why I do. Um, because one thing that Philip and Daniel said is that we noticed you woozing out going pansy on us the last time around. When we eat nagas, we eat the whole goddamn thing. So, um, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it, but I told Daniel, my hat's on to you and bottoms up guys. So yeah, that's about it for uh, this show. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys certainly for encouraging what I do, even if it involves sending me stupidly hot chilies. Um, ooh, another major heat rush. Um, to those of you who have been on on about me not posting um, more videos, I am sorry. I hope this uh, sort of makes up for everything. Um, I thank you for punking me into doing more of these sort of things and I hope you will like question of the day what do you want me to do next uh other than wear this really beautiful corona hat on camera um what should I do what should I try what haven't I done uh what would you like to see uh let me know in the comments um certainly um I appreciate it if you give this video a share for me not crying over these fucking ghost chilies even though they're starting to get really hot again um Thanks for watching. As always, um, comment, like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Facebook, visit my blog, go see more of the stupid shit that I do. Peace out, guys.